main idea behind the flat space is to provide a space for artistic and socially engaged activities in the uh, city. Uh, a place where uh, uh, artists could uh, produce different events and uh, uh, comment on the uh, uh, social, political, cultural or economic reality uh, of uh, Chisinau. The form of a flat is very uh, typical for people living in Moldova, in Chisinau. Most of us live in uh, blocks of flats that were designed in the Soviet Union. And the flats which in fact uh, isolate us from the rest of the society. So this flat space uh, has no external wall. It's an invitation for us to leave the areas of the flats, our private flats, and to go into public space. On the other hand, the flat space uh, makes reference to apartment exhibitions, which uh, were organized in the 70s in uh, bigger uh, centers like uh, Leningrad, Moscow or Odessa where artists who were censored by the state could uh, show their work uh, to their friends. And uh, it doesn't work as a typical gallery. It is rather a place of interaction between the artists and the society. The cultural department is just above us on the sixth floor. We have a kind of visual contact with these people who are regularly coming to the work and they leave the offices in the evening. Uh, and sometimes they catch an event or uh, some activities here. The square which you see is uh, a typical square which was uh, designed to be in front of the administrative building, but uh, in this process of transition it just got occupied by cars and uh, gradually the activity of the flat space expands to the square and occupies the square uh, through different means, uh, basically reconverting it into, from a parking space into a space for culture and uh, other uh, activities like sports or uh, flea markets or um, just a place to meet and to spend time. There is one big car which used to like this place a lot. It was always parked on this spot. Right now it, it is uh, a space reclaimed from the cars, but also not just uh, without any purpose. It's also a place where uh, artists are invited to contribute. So we will reuse it on a yearly basis by planting different uh, things. As you see, some of them are already growing. And the walls is used for screenings of the films and sometimes for some other projects like that one, uh, that photography project. We also have a bike, uh, emergency bike reparation point, which we got recently. And uh, this kind of model, I think, could be a very good uh, example how you can uh, <clears throat> improve the, the bicycle infrastructure and actually develop alternative means of transportation in the city. A city which lacks uh, normal public transport, uh, where uh, the minibuses take over over the trolley buses, and uh, a city which is overcrowded with private transportation. What we wanted to do is to, to install a kind of place for people to sit and watch films but also to have a barrier for the cars to enter on the square. What is important about this place is that we don't want to have control over it. Whenever anybody needs electricity or needs some equipment, we are ready to support. And uh, otherwise it, it stays as a public space. Maybe we should say that it's probably the only cultural infrastructure built during the last 20 years. Oh. This is how we open it. The balcony right now is rather a storage for different things. This uh, part of the balcony we use for presenting wind protests. And the last one is related to 
a huge mass protest in Romania. In this case, it's a message uh, about a mine, gold mine, which is to be built in Romania in the near future. The balcony itself uh, is, and the wind protest is also a, a model of uh, communication which people could use at their homes. In fact, they could uh, easily start communicating through their balconies by hanging out different messages. So maybe it will get popular at some point, we'll see. You can go around also. Because the flat was somehow lacking access, there was one single entry. We also built these stairs, which will allow you easily to go inside. And this space is like a bigger room, and sometimes we have some concerts or some events also happening here. And the, uh, the walls are being used for affichage. Also, people bring their posters and put them here. So it's, it's also a, kind, a cultural info point. Uh, this is the kitchen. And uh, sometimes we also cook. We already collaborate for a few years with a few collectives, architecture collectives. And since it's always open, we had to design some kind of roof. But it's all temporary. In this process of using the public space for our activities, we had to reclaim it in a way or another. And that is what motivates us to uh, reclaim public spaces, not today, not only for us as a group of artists, but also for other groups which were excluded from the uses of public spaces or which don't have uh, real access or means to uh, spend time or uh, enjoy uh, public spaces in the city.